And it appears that Matt Levi decided to join us. He just got done with an overtime shift. That I did. Yeah. Man, your uh, your profile pic there is kind of wigging me out there, bro. I, I think I took that picture. Did you really? That's a pretty na- accurate portrayal of him. Is though. it? Yeah. Well, especially, after, uh, especially after having a roommate with Steven uh, for Darcy. It's a little creepy uh, to find things in your bed and your shoes and your pants. You never know what you're going to find in there when he's rooming with you. So those eyes are like after seven, two hours of sleep deprivation? More or less. <laughs> sleeping with that. Uh, yeah. well, and you're going to fold of getting raped or something. <laughs> <laughs> Situational awareness. It, actually, if you like and subscribe, and actually, uh, if we get more uh, viewership, uh, someone may post in supply uh, a bottle of WD-40 that Scott could use on his chair. Oh my God! Can you guys hear that? You want the headset on? Sorry about that. Dude. Sorry about that, man. I thought that was just me crying. Uh, it's just your the, old, old creaky bones. Yeah, right. I got the WD-40 pen. I need to get to work. <laughs> And who did we decide was the oldest of the, all the moderators? I guess it wouldn't be a decide. Who did we determine? That was I a thought, question. I, I thought, thought that was, the was always Blowers. Well, is it Blowers? Uh, my older, I think I'm older than Blowers. I'll be 46 in August. Hmm. I have no idea how old he is. Or do I care? I think Grizz has it. Or Chuck Haggard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Chuck might be. Oh, Chuck might be. So, Scott, what was the bicentennial like? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, go fuck yourself. Anyway. <laughs> I've got no response to that. Right <laughs> I've got no response to that. Uh, you know. I wasn't there. Moses was a great guy, though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Found a party. Still owes me money. Uh, still owes me money. <laughs> uh, one, oh, go ahead. No. Uh, today, I finally got a chance to listen to the competition sit rep. Oh. Yeah. That was good stuff. Oh, was- good. I'm uh, hoping that with my upcoming move, I will be able to start shooting competition at some point. Awesome. It will actually be available, but it really got me motivated to try it out. So. Awesome, man. Good deal. Make sure you go get your uh, your box of ammo from Dix and hang yeah. it on the RO's wagon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God damn. They just throw, man. <laughs> so outside, outside of the Glock 17 and 19... Stock or modded, what other handgun platforms do you guys trust that aren't Glock? I've had good experiences with SIG 229s, 228s, 226s, and 220s. I prefer not to carry them, though, because, again, I don't like double, single, double crap. Um, Very articulate. Thank you. Yeah. Hmm. You're welcome. And then also uh, MMPs. I've had really good luck with MMPs. See, I haven't, but I don't know, man. I'm trying to, you know, I mean, you said double single crap, but I gotta tell you, man, I'm, I am uh, I've, I've picked up a couple CZs recently, and I'm starting to dig them. You know, I just I'm not an iron sight guy. I gotta hide an iron sight gun around if I'm like you know training or something like that. Um, and uh, I don't know, I kind of like it, man. I got a PO PO seven, and I got a uh, eighty five combat on the way, and uh, I dig them. I don't know why. Cause they're good. Yeah, they are, man. They're just good. Yeah. I, I, you know, I'm, I got my hands on a couple of them at the at the shop, and you can, you can just, I don't know, I hate to say feel the quality, but it's yeah. apparent. It's apparent in its operation and its design. You know, they they're doing they're doing good stuff. Yeah, I mean, surprisingly accurate. You know. Um... So yeah, man, it's funny. I so I uh, traded somebody some stuff and blah blah blah, and uh, he owed, that guy owed me money. So the only way I was gonna uh, get it, Moses, was to, yeah, was to trade for a gun. It was a good trade, but he's got a um, 
He's got a Beretta 92 FS, but with Wilson parts that was done at a local guy's uh, local Smith's place that I that I trust. He does awesome work, and I got it. And it's a great gun. It's very accurate. Yada yada. I fucking hate the gun. Can't stand it, man. Yeah. Cannot stand it. And it's got all Wilson parts. Wilson this, Wilson that. And I'm like, God, I just don't dig it. It's double out, you know, double single. Then I pick up the CZ. And I'm like, oh man, this is. This is a nice four hundred dollar gun, you know. So, yeah, I I think if, you know DASA is not a big deal if it's done well. Yeah, you know, I don't think it's a deal breaker. I uh, I carried SIGs and Glocks as duty weapons and uh, still issued a SIG, and I've never had any problems with them. Despite I know they have. You know, they've gotten a black eye for quality control over the last uh, decade or so. But I've, I have not, knock on wood, I have not had a, a single issue with any of my duty weapons. And uh, like bouncing between Glock and Sig for a while, it wasn't really, it wasn't really an issue. So, yeah. You know, they they may have lost their way a little bit, but. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what, and that's what I carry is a two two six, and you know the. I won't go into a big monologue about the company or anything like that. It's just, you know, it it is. Uh, I hate the phrase. It is what it is. But commercially, they've they've done some pretty stupid things. But uh, they really seem to be turning things around, though, man. I mean, they're trying. They're yeah. trying. I mean, the P three twenty is yeah. an awesome gun. You know, just get that high bore axis shit out and start working on all the other stuff that's messed up with your with your grip and your trigger control, you know. Um, that's, it, that's a great gun. You know, on the competitive side, they are uh, re- really giving a lot of support behind their Team SIG guys. You know, we were just talking about um, the uh, competition sit rep. You know, two of those guys were, were on Team SIG. Great guys. They got great media out there. Uh, I've heard nothing good about their optics, you know, but then again, it's been about two weeks since those have been released, so we'll see, you know. But, um, man, yeah. if that SIG 320 uh, RX comes out and it is as advertised, uh, that's going to change the game, man. An $800 plastic gun already milled and coming with the optic for $799? So being RX means the glasses prescription? Yeah, uh, right. yeah, exactly, exactly. But man, that thing comes out if it if it's durable, that's going to change the uh, the you know the optics game or the, at least the price points. Well, if that if that comes out and that's in their their catalog and it's marketed to law enforcement, that that's going to be another that's going to be another uh, uh, push towards optics on duty guns if, yeah. if, if it's sitting there in the in the catalog and, and an administrator can see that and that's nothing special from the factory that's you know that's one of their regular SKUs right as I don't know that's a good thing it's a good you know it's a, it's a good trigger um, which has always been the complaint with SIG right uh, I, mean, uh, I like I like the trigger even even on the double, I liked it. I just didn't like the comment. I didn't like having to do both. Yeah, yeah, and, and wait. I, I don't. Yeah, and, and wait. I, though I'd never want a double action only because that's dumb. No, that's oh, but, and that being said, you know, or sins the of the DAC. past, right? Yeah, dude, the worst gun ever, P two fifty DAC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the worst ever, but the worst for people who should have known better. <laughs> yeah. Even though. Uh, you know, it ha- comes with issues, but the the positives is the the M and P core line, the the Glock MOS line, and the new Sig Optic Ready line will force Safari Land to produce optic capable duty holsters, yep. and it will make it more mainstream. Where right now it's there, it, it's becoming more common, but it will accelerate the process because when you have a gun that's factory. With that setup on it, oh yeah, it um, it speeds that process up. So yeah, you know that is always a main problem is the holster support, which is something you know you constantly hear people want to buy the latest greatest new toy, 
but can they get a whole shirt and get mag pouches? And that's always another couple hundred dollars of accessories that are not factored into the price of a new gun. So that's true. That's very mm-hmm. true. I've only carried Glock for duty guns, so well, I carried a M and P in a regional part time assignment. Are they that, uh are you are you keeping that for your new assignment, or are they making you switch? I'll be switching. Um, it's not a hundred percent made up what I'll be switching to, but um, Terra Ordnance Nine Mil. Exactly. <laughs> I was gonna try a Kimber uh, Carry Two or something like that. You know, nice. Uh, so uh, five inch nineteen eleven and nine millimeters. So in other words, everything that shouldn't work, I'm sure that my gun never works. Um. But it'll look good on the internet, which is all that counts. So. <laughs> Stainless uh, with a pearl handle. I'll, I'll uh, restart Guns and Ammo and write a positive review about it, and Kimber will send me a free gun every month. Um, but on a more on a serious note, like <laughs> locally, the uh, state cops all shoot SIGs, so when we'll get together and shoot, they'll all have their 229s and 40, and it's interesting is how many of the times we're out there there will be issues, worn out magazines that they're too cheap to replace and guys will have to work around that and so they'll buy their own magazines and just use their mags and when it's inspection time, well, here's your magazines, but they don't work, so replace them. Uh, but it is, it is kind of interesting to shoot because a double single does, it does create a new challenge, so it's fun to shoot and just give it a shot to see sure. if you can match that double press when you're so spoiled with a consistent trigger pull of a Glock or an M and P or similar, every time it's the same, whether you it's a trigger or not. Not to not and not to harp on it. The only time with the ASA that the only time I've ever noticed the, the double action being an issue is when I am just on a square range target shooting and I am just uh you know, trying to shoot a drill or something like that. That's the only time I've noticed the double action pull because I'm very conscious of it. But when we've done force on force or we've done, you know, a qual or something, it doesn't even doesn't even register. It doesn't even seem to be a factor. And I think people might get hung up on, you know, the consistency of the pull or whatnot because it is so different than, than say, like a, a striker fire. I got to say in my, in my, Ten years of shooting a Sig, I, the the DEA part doesn't even like if I'm shooting at quote unquote combat speed, it's not. I don't even notice it, and it doesn't even seem to affect accuracy. Hmm. Hmm. So you're saying if you contemplate on too long is when it becomes a problem. I, it seems like it. Like if if I'm just if I'm sitting at on a square range and I'm like okay I'm going to shoot this bull at whatever yardage. And I, I I start thinking about that first trigger pull. It's gonna be, you know, it's gonna yeah. be inconsistent. If I am shooting a qual and it's you know timed, or we're doing force on force, doing a scenario or something like that, doesn't even register. Doesn't and the and it's consistent. So, I mean, huh. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I, and to illustrate, I'm not trying to brag, anything like that. But we we had a uh, we recently had some good force on force, uh, like hostage rescue training for our attack unit. And I was able to, you know, on the move, do, do, uh, put two rounds headshot on a moving target from like 10 yards, you know, coming through a door, you know, coming right through a door, processing that information, putting two rounds on a moving target, two headshots within, you know, second of coming through that door. And, you know, that sounds like really impressive, but when it gets, I've never experienced any sort of, like, difficulty with processing that DA shot. It's just you're you're too busy processing the information in front of you visually and just doing what you need to do. Uh, it's not a really that? articulate way of saying it, but... Yeah. I, what, I what's think the pull on your DA? I'm sorry, Steve. What is it? What's the pound? Yeah. Uh, Ten? I don't know. <laughs> I ah, there you go. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I don't care. 
<laughs> no, I, I've never measured it. I could go on like Sig's website and probably find out. I think it is ten. Yeah, but it's it's not it's not like I don't know. I I don't know if it gets made out to be more of a barrier uh, in discussion on the internet than it actually is. Yeah, it can be. I mean, I know I prefer my Glocks and stuff like that, but... Uh, well, like you just said, that CZ, though, that D yeah. doesn't seem all that bad. No, nah, it really doesn't. I mean, I'm not putting the Glock down for competitions, you know. No. But, uh, but yeah, I, I will tell you what I do like that Beretta for, um, but I'll probably wind up doing the CZ anyway, is dry fire. You know, I, you get, you do, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, like I do, you know, some drills and stuff like that uh, for dry fire and stuff, and, man, that... At least on the Beretta, that double action, keep on going on double action. It's like uh, it's like sprinting with a weighted vest, and then I go back to my Glock trigger, and I'm like, you know, so something to be said.